Kelly Wade hanging out with Rihanna. Hello, Kelly. We're in the Highline Ballroom um, in New York City. Rihanna did a special charity concert, yes. a benefit concert benefiting your belief foundation. First of all, I was uh, standing in the audience uh, checking out your show. I was like, wow, it just seemed like yesterday when you first came out, yes. you've amassed such uh, a, you know, a great number of hits now. You were able to do what was that, an hour Thank show? You. And straight nothing but hits. And so, I enjoy yeah, every part to, of it. <laughs> Thank you. We try to put up, uh, we try to all our singles, mm -hmm. you know. But we're going to tour with Kanye very soon, and we're having that problem where we're trying to fit everything into 30 yeah. minutes. And we having to cut some songs in half, but we'll, we'll get it done. It's going to be fun. It's our tour. Yes, I'm excited about I'm that. Excited. So how did it come about that you actually got on tour with Kanye? Well, Who's Kanye. a nerd and yeah. a Lupe fiasco? Well, at first it was only Kanye and N.E.R.D., and then he called me. He was like, you know, it's going to be a bunch of guys, and mm -hmm. I really think that, you know, it would, you would be the perfect female to come on tour. And, mm -hmm. you know, we had a couple other options also, so he was like, kind of, really talking to me like we need you come. yeah yeah like we really and honestly this is such an amazing opportunity for me because mm -hmm. i haven't really toured in the u.s for the past couple albums mm -hmm. so i am really really excited no better tour to do than kanye west i know i'm start. so excited about he this so tour so now, I haven't seen you like uh, all over the world though. You've just been, you're just the jet setter, yeah, Rihanna. I know, I know. Pictures of you all over the world I've been seeing on the internet, but you've been performing over there. Were you on tour uh, overseas? Uh, well, we just got back from Japan. We only had two shows in Japan, mm -hmm. one of which we did with NERD and mm -hmm. Kanye West. And um, yeah, I came back from Europe because we had our European tour last year, the end of last year. But um, we had to go back to do some more uh, cities that we didn't get to hit and also revisit some of the, the biggest cities that mm -hmm. we got to visit last time. But it's all yeah. about the Kanye West right now. It's all about the Golden Globes. I'll be in America for a while because it keeps getting longer and longer and longer. They keep That's adding dates. Kanye, yes. <laughs> so I'm never going to tour with you again. <laughs> No, it's going to be fun. I'm definitely going to be in the audience. Uh, you got to send a shout out to me from the stage. Yeah, I will, like, Shelly. I'm sending a shout out to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you, wow, you have got umbrella. <laughs> you've yeah. got the song. You've got the totes umbrella. Yeah. How did that come about? Was that like, did they hear that you had a song called umbrella come out? Because it seems like all immediately, uh, as soon as uh, the song came out, you had your umbrellas. Well, the, the minute the song came out, uh, told, they reached out to us mm -hmm. and they were like, we want you to help us sign, uh, design some umbrellas. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was cool because at first it was a little unexpected, you mm -hmm. know, because I I never thought in a million years that my first line would be umbrella line. Uh -huh. And to team up with them, it was a great, great combination. And we made some really, really cool umbrellas because umbrellas always seem to be in the way. People <laughs> hate carrying them. I, for one, hate carrying them around. But we want to make it cute because the rain does fall. You do need a walk room umbrella, so we want to make it fashionable. And and you said your first line, so that means yeah. you're you're planning on doing something else. Yes, I'm planning on doing a few other things, none of which I can speak about. Yes, yeah, sure. We're just you want to break the news though. with me first? Oh, no, I want to <laughs> go first. Okay. Uh, when when it it's done and I can talk about it, I'll come to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like a dwarf under you. You have you guys show no. show me on this hill. I am. You are working those but hills, but girl. I'm tall. And, I, and I'm looking at your um, your uh, tattoo on your foot. I heard you. I saw a picture on People Magazine's website. You have a new tattoo. Yeah. You got you to gotta turn around and show it oh, to us. Can we get a shot oh, of this on your back? Is it this, oh, not the neck one. We've seen that one before. Yeah, Hang on. It, it actually is the neck this one. one? It goes all the way down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sure. And it's all stars? Yeah. That's gorgeous. Like a cluster. The, what does that represent for you? Um, well, you something? know, I like stars. You know, mm -hmm. everyone has this thing. I just see, look at my like star earrings. My star yeah. earrings? No. Swarovski, and I've got the ring. I got you it from see? Swarovski. So you like stars? I can't, I can't afford the big diamonds like you can now. But <laughs> <laughs> Swarovski, I rock that all the time. I love okay. Swarovski. So you just, stars mean something for you. That's your symbol. Yeah, you know, I, I like it. It's a symbol that I, I became very, very attracted to, and I put it in my logo. It's a part of the R with a star. I know my name's Courtney. <laughs> but R with a star. But, um, yeah, I have a lot of cute star tattoos, actually. One mm -hmm. in my ear right here. Oh, yeah. And then this was just, it was a little 
incomplete to me. It was just right on the neck, and uh -huh. I wanted to make it more feminine and pretty. And what's your fascination with, with tattoos right now? Because I know you have several now. I'm a bad girl. <laughs> I'm a rock star. Rock star Good girl going bad. bad. Good girl going <laughs> bad. Okay, finally, let's talk about the re-release of your uh, CD. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Take a Bow, my favorite song well, by you right thank now. You so much. Um, I sing it really loud whenever we play it on <laughs> G100, and you're re-releasing it. It was written by Neo. Tell us yeah. about it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I work with Neo and Stargate again. Mm -hmm. Perfect combination. I love working with those guys. And when I heard it, because we had been hearing a few other songs when we found out that we had to do the release of Good Girl Gone Bad. So we had to go in the studio, start recording. When I heard this one, I was like, this is a smash. Mm -hmm. This is the type of record that's in your face. It's a female anthem. Like, mm -hmm. girls are going to be singing it. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. And we just shot the video with Anthony Myler, which is going to be coming out really, really, really soon. I haven't seen it yet. But we should be seeing it any day now. Okay. And got to ask you the Chris Brown question. Mm -hmm. Let's look at her face when we ask her. <laughs> Everybody's asking you, but I saw Chris Brown at the show tonight. Yeah, he was what does here. that mean, Rihanna? Uh, he came to see my show. Exactly. Why, why? He came to see your show? Yes. Why did he come to uh, see show? Well, actually, every time we're in the same city, we... You know, if it was Kanye West, I'd go see his show. He'd probably okay. come to mine. You know? Okay. I was thinking you'd want to, like, reveal it to me so I could get the scooper. Shelly. I know. She's <laughs> like, don't love you that much. <laughs> it's so nice to see you again, Rihanna. Love you, love you. And I'm you. so happy for all of your successes and Thank everything. You. Loving all the haircuts. Thank you. They are fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Backstage with Rihanna here at the Highland Ballroom here in uh, New York City. I'm Shelly Wade, and this is Z100. Yeah. Thanks, Rihanna. Good. You're Thank very you.